Hi Sagittarius, this is your behind the scenes reading for April 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for April 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for April 2022 universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of sagittarius for april 2022 show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Sagittarius. Sag, these are your cards, honey. So, Sag, you have the four swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Sag, listen, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Clarify the four swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the four swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the four swords. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from something. So Sag could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something clarify strength for Sagittarius clarify strength for Sagittarius clarify strength for Sagittarius it is clarified with the ten of wands Aries Leo or Sag something is difficult something is heavy something feels like a lot of work something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders something is a burden here for you now this is a 10 so this is an ending this is you wanting to release a burden so Sag listen you know you may have had a difficult time here and you're just wanting to just have the strength to just release it, okay? So that you can rest, you can recover. And maybe you releasing this stress or this burden is you having to break up with someone. We'll see. Sag, you have the Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So Sag could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using your intuition concerning something, or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Sag, listen, you can be dealing with an Aquarius. You can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own, or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile Clarify the star for Sagittarius. Clarify the star for Sagittarius. Clarify the star for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the four swords again. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Sag, listen, 
you can tell me that, hey, you know, I search my emotions, I use my intuition, I just need to heal individually on my own here, I need to recover. Sag, you could also tell me that you're meditating on you guys healing things, many things, working things out here. You know, maybe you have to just get rid of this burden and just muster the strength and courage to come in and heal things with this person. We'll see. Sag, you have the nine of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that, hey, you know what? I simply don't trust. My guard is up. You can tell me that you're standing your ground. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent here or you're guarding something. Clarify the Nine of Wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the Nine of Wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the Nine of Wands for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Four of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There is an offer on the table that you're not accepting nor rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending a offer, but you fear that the offer would be rejected. So Sag, listen, very well maybe an offer coming into you that you just don't trust and you're thinking about missing. However, you can tell me that you're contemplating sending this offer, you know, and you're going to be persistent. You just have this fear they won't accept it. It just depends on whether or not you're meditating on healing things with this person or you're just needing to heal individually on your own. Sag, you have the Queen of Wands. This is you, Sag, Aries, or Leo. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So, Sag, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Sagittarius. What about Sag? What about Sag? Clarify the Queen of Wands for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters. Moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree. Letting bygones be bygones. And moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship Sad, you can be thinking about physically moving or traveling here. Sad, you can tell me that, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together. Maybe you want to heal things with this person. Being persistent here. Just, you know, mustering the strength to just lay down this burden and maybe go in and heal things with this person. However, Sad, you can tell me you just want to move out, move on, and move away from this relationship. You don't trust them and you need to heal individually on your own. Sad, you have the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Sag, listen, could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something here. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there is a secret. Clarify the moon for Sagittarius. Clarify the moon for Sagittarius. Clarify the moon for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the nine of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're using your intuition here. You feel like you just need to be single. Maybe you just need to move away from the relationship because it's too burdensome here. And you need strength to just let it go, just to just put it to an end here. However, Sag, you can tell me that, you know, you're using your intuition that maybe you should be single or you're telling me that there was a secret. Something caused you to want to become single here. Something made you not trust this person here. 
something has you on a break, has you burnt, and has you needing to heal individually on your own. Some type of secret, Sag. This is your behind the scenes reading for April 2022. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.